Welcome back. So, you know, as student athletes, they're heading back to school. Mm -hmm. Schools are working to keep them safe as well. There are new reports on brain disease that are linked to hard hits on those athletic fields with uh, coaches being extra safe this fall. In 10 this morning's Laura Borchers has a new look this morning on some high tech protective equipment. Laura? Yeah, you guys know kids and concussions. It's certainly a concern for parents. So we found local school districts who are taking extra steps and they're trusting technology to make sports a little safer. On the football field, Worthington Kilbourne players give their all from helmet to toe. Oh. Coach Vince Trombetti says they watch for head injuries and this year they've got new technology on their side. We all see the stories. We're reading the reports, the CTE, the concussion stories, all this other stuff. The one thing that our administration has been extremely supportive of is the fact that we are getting the best equipment for our kids to keep them safe. Athletic director Jeff Todd explains they bought these speed flex helmets specifically for concussion prevention. Well, helmets are one of the most expensive items that we purchase each year, but uh, obviously safety is our priority with our kids and so we find the investment to be worth it. Added safety for these athletes comes at a price. Even with a the discount they were about $350 a helmet and there was another even more high tech option too. It includes sensors that can alert of harmful levels of contact. Those are uh, kind of designed for the college and pro level. Uh, very expensive, probably three or four times what we're able to pay at the high school level. Worthington Kilboard football players have hit the gridiron for practice but as the season approaches parents are part of the team's anti-concussion plan. They're suited up with education on signs and symptoms. The biggest thing is is headaches. If you have a headache, that's, that's your number one concern and most common uh, occurrence. But uh, fatigue, dizziness, nausea, uh, all those things are signs of concussion. If a player is suspected to have a concussion, Coach Trombetti goes beyond the helmets. He also follows up with film to see what could have been done differently. You can control what you can control, and the best way to do that is through the proper equipment and the proper technique. And I want to give you one more look at this. This is actually coming apart. This is an old, you can tell, helmet. It was worn about three decades ago by one of our photojournalists, Tim Flaherty. And it just gives you a little insight to the difference between technology, a matter of decades ago versus today. We're going to walk through some of the most important changes coming up at 6 o'clock this morning. I'm Laura Borchers. Back to you, Pete. All right, Laura, thanks. Now, schools all across Central Ohio follow the OHSAA guidelines. Kids can can't go back to the field the same day for practice or a game and can only return after medical consent if they deal with a hard hit like that. Worthington uh, has said it's also after film has been reviewed. They have to wait till that happens before they can return to the field. The coach says that often the injuries have been connected to improper technique. All right, thanks, Ashley. Almost quarter after six now, and believe it or not, it's almost time to head back to school. And that means the boys of fall are hard at work right now, gearing up for high school football. But this year could be a little different, with new research showing the toll those hard hits can take. Now, the study took a look at more than 200 former football players. From the NFL back to high school, researchers found 177 of those suffered from CTE or the head injuries and that's nearly 90%. So numbers like those are now encouraging local schools to take extra steps to keep their players safe. This year helmets with better head protection are being rolled out for some student athletes. And 10 this morning's Laura Borchers has been taking a look at this and has details on where and which schools are, are doing this and what may be standing in the way of your child's school from getting them, Laura. Yeah, Pete, you know, they're so helpful, but unfortunately they're also costly. Hundreds of dollars for each of these newer helmets with technology said to reduce brain injury in a time where concussions are more concerning than ever. Worthington High School says they're proud to be one of the first to put them on their students. The hits on the field can leave parents worried in the stands. And this year, they're leaving this label inside some high school helmets. Worthington Kilbourne High School is one of few local high schools refitting some of their student athletes with newer high-tech helmets by Riddell called Speedflex. The place where kids were taking the impact was on the crown of the head right here. And so what they've done is two things. Number one, they have this cutout that has some give. And the simple physics is when you can increase a collision time, you decrease the amount of force. And coach Vince Trombetti says reason number two. They used to have 
the parts that hold the face mask is on the side here and they used to have these up here. Well, they found out when kids were taking those shots, those things kept pounding. So in the new helmets, those brackets were moved from the crown where the impact happens down to the sides. Take a look at this throwback helmet. It was used back in 1985. You can see the shell is made of an acrylic material that doesn't have much give. And when you take the face mask off and look inside, simple foam padding. We didn't know any better back then, but obviously the technology has come a long way and the research has come a long way. Current athletic director Jeff Todd used to play on the Worthington football field. He knows firsthand that in a sport of strength and impact, Go. better gear can be a game changer. When I played, we had the Gladiator water packs. So what those were is on the inside, it had a plastic liner, but inside there were sponge and water. The school leaders say the tough new shells know it's what's on the inside that counts. And we reached out to schools across Central Ohio. Many athletic departments say they are anxious to get higher tech helmets, but the price tag is daunting. We're talking about $350 to $400 per helmet. That's what these school districts are telling us. So, you know, costly, but they could, you know, mm -hmm. make, a, make a, a significant difference. Um, you know, another school we talked with, we, we looked all over, Olentangy is another district where um, their superintendent said they're looking into slowly, you know, one by mm -hmm. one, uh, replacing some of those, and, and he said they do have some students who have purchased them <laughs> themselves. Themselves, oh. right? A lot of parents would rather pay that money than pay the cost later down the road. So. Right. All right, Laura, thank you for that. Well, the start of the school season is coming up and already football practice has started at many high schools and new this year helmets that offer better protection. But although the technology is there, 10 TV's Laura Borcher shows us the big holdup when it comes to getting them. The hits on the field can leave parents worried in the stands. And this year, they're leaving this label inside some high school helmets. Worthington Kilbourne High School is one of few local high schools refitting some of their student athletes with newer high-tech helmets by Riddell called Speedflex. The place where kids were taking the impact was on the crown of the head right here. And so what they've done is two things. Number one, they have this cutout that has some give. And the simple physics is when you can increase a collision time, you decrease the amount of force. And coach Vince Trombetti says reason number two. They used to have the parts that hold the face mask is on the side here, and they used to have these up here. Well, they found out when kids were taking those shots, those things kept pounding. So in the new helmets, those brackets were moved from the crown where the impact happens down to the sides. Take a look at this throwback helmet. It was used back in 1985. You can see the shell is made of an acrylic material that doesn't have much give. And when you take the face mask off and look inside, simple foam padding. We didn't know any better back then, but obviously the technology has come a long way and the research has come a long way. Current athletic director Jeff Todd used to play on the Worthington football field. He knows firsthand that in a sport of strength and impact, Go. better gear can be a game changer. When I played, we had the Gladiator water packs. So what those were is on the inside, it had a plastic liner, but inside there were sponge and water. The school leaders say the tough new shells know it's what's on the inside that counts. Laura Borchers, 10 TV News. 10 TV reached out to several athletic departments and many of them say they're really interested in these high tech helmets, but the price is up there. They cost up to $400 a helmet. The superintendent at Olentangy says they do have some student athletes who have taken the cost on themselves and bought their own helmets. 